Hey Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So if you're a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, not known, or if you have a stellium in Sagittarius, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. So this is going to be a quick reading here. And by quick, I mean I'll try to keep this under 25 minutes. You're just going to see this person's current feelings towards you, current energy and the true intentions. Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. of pentacles all right seven of pentacles okay both of these are taurus card here judgment all right you could be dealing with uh scorpio okay so bottom of the deck we have seven of swords in reverse which is a good energy and there's that page of swords and the Ace of Wands. And we have the Devil here. Queen of Cups. Three of Wands. And there's your energy. You could be dealing with another Sagittarius, Capricorn, Scorpio, Taurus. All right, can you see the cards? Yes. Okay. Well, this is someone, Seven of Swords in Reverse is a good energy. This is someone who wants your forgiveness. This is someone who wants to come clean here. It's like, it's the energy of uh, someone who has realized their mistakes. Someone who has realized their ways is also possible here. So whatever this person was doing, whatever sneaky energy this person had, whatever games they were playing, this person has realized that this was like they are they were very unhealthy or this connection was very unhealthy or this dynamic between the both of you was a very codependent codependent kind of a connection here doesn't have to be this person uses these terms but this person definitely understands that the dynamic between the both of you wasn't really the healthiest of ones it could have been a very addictive kind of connection between the both of you a lot of sexual addiction between the both of you is also very possible or this person was just like addicted or hooked to your energy for all the wrong reasons as i said codependent connection here but again the seven of swords is a def def in reverse is definitely a good energy here they want your forgiveness they want to come clean this is also someone who's accepting defeat here almost like uh, they're accepting defeat they're accepting that what they did or was doing was wrong here this is this is the uh, energy with the seven of swords in reverse uh, this person we have two pages in this person's energy so pages are messengers pages talks about communication so this is someone who definitely wants to communicate they want to talk to you they want to uh, bring a message towards you and judgment is for some of you with the judgment here this person could be going through an awakening or if not an awakening some realizations and epiphanies is happening for this uh, happening for this person here they are realizing certain things and what they are realizing could very possibly be as i said that this was a very unhealthy connection this was a very codependent connection i will clarify this energy here but this is what this person is uh, realizing and they want a second chance judgment also talks about second chances uh, judgment is rebirth that's what i'm getting here judgment here rebirth although this is not the death card but that's the energy I, that's the word i got and that's the energy i'm getting from the judgment this is someone judgment and ace of wands they are they want another chance here
The Queen of Cups in this person's feelings. They do have feelings for you. But yeah, this was a codependent connection. No matter how much feelings this person had for you, this was definitely a codependent connection here. Okay. Could be dealing with another Sagittarius. I didn't already mention that. Aces uh, talk about new beginning. So judgment and ace of wands, that is someone who is looking for another chance here, second opportunity or rebirth. Starting from fresh. King of Swords, the Chariot, Four of Pentacles. We have the Moon in reverse at the bottom of the deck here. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Queen of Cups and the Chariot. You could be dealing with a Cancer here. This is someone who. Uh, it's very possible this person's toxic trait was they they were just emotionally unavailable that's that that's all this person was doing they were not emotionally available they were emotionally detached they were emotionally closed off their heart was very closed off they were very insecure they were very uh, fearful about opening their heart about being vulnerable about letting someone in about uh, having a connection having a relationship so this person could have pretended like they are much they would much rather be single than be in a relationship with someone this is what this person pretended. But at the same time, they had feelings for you. So they did not let you go as well here. So they wanted you. But at the same time, this person was not ready for that commitment. They were af afraid to open up. They were afraid to be vulnerable. Four and nine of pentacles, five of pentacles here. Five of pentacles is someone who is, it could be a lack mindset. Like this person definitely had that mindset that uh, it's it's better to be single. It's very possible this person had some past trauma, could be childhood trauma, could be from a past relationship because of which this person had this mindset that I'm just not, I, I can't do this. I don't want to do this. I, I don't think relationships work for me. I don't think relationships are a good idea. I would much rather be single. It's almost like this person felt like if they are single, they will be, they will have control over their heart. And if they, uh, if, if they are in a relationship, uh, and if they have to be vulnerable, they have to give their heart to someone, right? And that person can totally break their heart. And this is what this person was scared of, that they will have to give your their heart to someone. They will have to give their heart to you and you might break their heart. You might drop that. And this is what this person was scared of. So I want to be in control of my emotions. I want to be in control of what I want. And I want to move where I want to go. It's, it's very possible this person also had some stubbornness uh, issue as well. Sort of my way or the highway kind of attitude. But yeah, this person can't run away from the fact that Queen of uh, Cups is here. I mean, like this person has feelings or emotions for you. And with the Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Swords here, this is what this person is thinking about. This is what they have either, they're very curious or they're very, like they are thinking like, what do I do with these feelings? I have tried running away. I have tried not opening up. I would much rather be single. That's, that's the attitude I have. That's the vibe I have. But what do I do with these emotions? I do have feelings.
as it's also what I'm getting here with the Queen of Cups. This can be very well your energy as well with the Queen of Cups here, you know. So uh, it, it's very possible you sort of somehow. It's almost like you. This person had a hard exterior. Like they, they tried to come off as this king of swords. Like it doesn't matter to me. I don't care. I'm, I'm very mature. I'm very detached. I have no confusion. I'm very sorted. Um, I know the decisions I'm making. So this is the kind of vibe this person wanted to create. Or this is the kind of image they wanted to create here. And you sort of broke through that shell. The hard shell this person had. You broke through that. I'm sorry about the dogs, but uh, yeah, they, they were just, they were quiet, but yeah, you never know when they go crazy, but yes, take that as a confirmation. It's almost like this person wanted to be in control of themselves. They wanted to keep maintaining this hard shell that they have, that this is how they are. This is very, they, that they are very strong, mature, sorted, uh, very logical. Except you broke through all of that. You did manage to break this person. And not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. It's almost like you broke the shell of this person. The hard outer shell of this person. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. But I didn't already mention that. Really sorry about the dogs. Dealing with fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. Mm. Yeah, you very well could be dealing with someone with the Knight of Wands. You were dealing with someone who didn't have any... They were not ready for commitment at all. They were not ready for commitment. But at the same time, they felt so happy with you. So they didn't want to let this go. They didn't want you to let go. Sorry, they didn't want to let you go. Because they felt this happiness with you. But at the same time, they were not ready for commitment. So. It's, it's like. Stuck in between. Stuck in limbo here. That's what happened. been someone who uh, was overthinking a lot as well here you know it's almost like you got as i said you cracked the hard outer shell of this person it sounds so funny that way but um it really got to this person it really got to this person uh, this person could have been scared and ran away they very well could have been scared and ran away What on the deck we have Knight of Cups, the Nine of Swords and the Queen of Swords here. So yeah, this person was so scared that they're feeling so happy with you. They have to be vulnerable again. They have to, you know, like they have to be vulnerable again. They have to give again. They have to be, they have to give their heart to someone. And it's so scary for this person here. We also have the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So the Ace of Wands is repeated twice. But yeah, this person was very scared. It really got to them. They were losing their sleep. They were uh, having a lot of anxiety as well. And with the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Swords in reverse, this is definitely someone who could have made false promises to you. 
because the queen of swords in reverse is that is not a very honest energy the king of swords is an honest energy but the queen of swords in reverse is not an honest energy at all you could be dealing with an air sign here gemini libra aquarius but this person could have sold you some false promises it's also very possible that this person right now is regretting whatever they have said to you they are regretting that and they're regretting the fact that when they had everything they couldn't just let go of their fear and take that risk But since the moon came out in reverse, it's almost like this is someone who is working on their insecurities or fear. Or this is someone who's trying to, at least they are trying to find the courage to overcome that fear they have. The insecurity, the fear, the illusion this person had. The deep-seated, this person could have some deep-seated abandonment issues as well here. Okay, let's keep it Ten of Wands, the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius and the Moon again. Could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer. Bottom of the deck is Hermit, so Virgo energy and the High Priestess and the Ace of Pentacles. All right. Yeah, this person feels a connection with you. They can't deny it. Even if there's silence between the both of you, this person still feels that connection. They still feel your energy. You could be seeing dreams of this person as well here. This person sees dreams about you as well. Um, so this person, even in silence, this person feels this connection. Even if there's no contact between the both of you, this person still feels deep down. It's almost like this person just knows that this isn't over between the both of you because they feel this with the star here. They feel this connection with you. Yeah, judgment, hermit. This person could be definitely going through a like some sort of not to mention the hermit and the high priestess this is virgo and pisces right so these are counterparts to each other whatever this person is going through they could be going through uh as i said a spiritual awakening or some revelations are happening or this person is you know they are going through a hard reality check in their life that, that is what is happening for this person. This person is going through something heavy. They are releasing some heavy energy here. With the Ten of Wands and the Hermit, this is what I'm getting. This person is releasing some heavy energy. It's not easy for this person to release what they are doing. The work they are doing right now internally, it's difficult for this person here. And there's still some insecurity and fears with the Moon and the Ace of Pentacles. When it comes to their feelings, they, they still feel a little bit of fear. And this fear is not regarding uh, this fear is just regarding whether you are going to accept that new beginning whether you are going to accept their offer whether you're going to give them another chance or have they already or are they too late already or by the time they approach you will they be already too late you know those kind of questions coming into this person's mind Because this person knows that to approach you, to come towards you with the Ace of Pentacles, because the Ace of Pentacles is the cornerstone to the Ten of Pentacles. To approach or come towards you with this Ace of Pentacles, they have to do and overcome a lot here. They have some internal battles. They have some internal demons or traumas they need to first overcome if they want to come towards you. Right. 
Yeah, as I said, taking that leap of faith. Yeah, the fool. You could be dealing with an Aries or an Aquarius, but this person does want to take that leap of faith. They do want to do something fearless here. It's almost like they fearlessly want to make that move. Yeah, the fool and the knight of cups. They fearlessly want to do this. They want to come towards you. They want to make a move towards you. Yeah, we have the tower in reverse in this person's, uh, sorry, in the bo at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, this person could be going through a rude awakening or it's just like things are falling apart. Some changes, some major changes is happening in this person's life. Changes they were not ready for. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Look at that. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Three Aces. This is the true intentions. They want this. They really want to apologize. They really want to be courageous and brave and take that leap of faith. And not be scared. If you can hear the crow, that's a confirmation. at that page of cups they will apologize this person will apologize they will bring an offer towards you <laughs> bottom of the deck we have four of cups here you very well could be ignoring this person right now or they are feeling that you have emotionally detached from uh, you have emotionally detached from this connection from them For some of you, you could have uh, blocked this person as well with the seven of wands here. Ignoring them, have already blocked them, or very emotionally behaving in a very emotionally cold way. But yeah, they do want to apologize and make amends here. We'll be dealing with the Scorpio, the tower here again. I think we saw the tower in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, tower in reverse. But here the tower is upright. So yeah, this is going to be very unexpected. It's almost like... It's it's almost I'm getting with the tower here. Like this person's attitude or this person's... How, how diff, It's going to shock you. This person will shock you in a way. It's very possible the way this person has changed or how much this person has changed, that will shock you. But it will shock you. And this is going to be very unexpected. This offer from them. Well, that's your reading, uh, Sagittarius. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.